What is up, patrons and Patreon members? Players and pimps, whatever you go by. It's your boy LC, you heard. You know this is Action Fredo. I action tried to Fredo. steal this intro real quick. It's all good. I uh, was at a loss for words. We have a special guest. Ooh, we got a real special guest. Yeah, this isn't just a guest. I, sh- I can't even call her a guest. This is one of the moderators in our Discord, mm-hmm. uh, handling a lot of the back end stuff. When things get crazy, we call Emily and the Discord gang. So she's like a cousin now, you know what I'm saying? Moderator. All the mods are like my cousin. I'd be like, what up, cuz? Because if, if you're from Middletown, it's like a thing to where like you get close to someone, you automatically call them your cousin. Yeah, but man. But you're not like actually related. So I got a ton of cousins. They're like, what up, cuz? I'm like, we're not even related, but. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So what's up, M? Nothing much. What's up with you guys? Hey, you know us. We are going to watch this BTS guide, and we thought it would be interesting to bring someone with a little more insight than us to mm-hmm. get your insight on things. Right. So this was actually a request from uh, one of our top tier patrons. Shout out Unsealy85. Um, she chose not to get on screen with us, and that's all good, but we were like, hey, we're going to bring on some expertise so we can really tell the difference between I think I was messing up Jen, who was I messing up yesterday? JK and Jimin. I no, think. it wasn't Jimin. I got Jimin down. It was JK and the other one that looked kind of similar to him. Jim? I don't know. We'll see. I'm not going to say anything because I messed stuff up. <laughs> Me too. You can find out today. Yeah, we're right. going. We're going. We're going to nail. We're going <laughs> to nail this down today. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Let's go. Let's do this. You got good audio? Yeah. All right, let me turn this up a little bit. How many it was of you Jin. have heard of BTS? Jin and JK, I'm going to get them right. Who is BTS and why are they so popular? BTS is a seven-member group from South Korea. Seven While members. the words boy band are often associated with the image of screaming teen girls, that is far from reality. First, there's nothing wrong with being a young person showing love for something you enjoy. But what if I told you about 24% are in their 20s, Mm. 28% are in their 30s, and 21% are in their 40s? Take a Nothing closer like look our at analytics. this age and gender right. demographic for BTS's 2020 Map of the Soul ticket sales. Females ages 25 and up made 46% of web traffic, and 31% were males. BTS's fans named ARMY will often tell you BTS is not your typical boy band, and why? To get a better understanding, let us go back to the beginning. BTS was created by Big Hit Entertainment, Big whose mission statement is music and artist for healing. Music the company, and, and namely healing. their CEO, Bang Shi Hyuk, wanted BTS to be sincere and genuine figures that people could easily relate to and grow with. Not immaculate idols groomed amid studio culture, but real boys who shared their authentic personalities and talents with the world. Amen. Which is why BTS stands for Pangtan Sonyeondan, Korean for Bulletproof Boy Scouts. Oh, Pangtan meaning to be resistant I've to heard bullets. That before. So it means to block out stereotypes, criticisms, and expectations that are aimed at adolescents like bullets to preserve the value and ideals of today's adolescent. Mm. In 2017, BTS rebranded their name and logo representing their growth and maturity, extending the meaning to beyond the scene. The new door-inspired logo symbolizes youth who don't settle for their current reality and instead open the door and go forward to achieve I've growth. Seen that logo like BTS debuted on June door. 12, 2013 with seven members. RM. Okay. Jin, Jin, Suga, Suga we know J-Hope, Suga. J-Hope that's Jimin, my dog. Jimin, V, and Jungkook. Okay. All just, seven members came JK from different Jin parts of Korea. Down, so down. at first, living together in a small apartment was a challenge. Their CEO, Bang Shi Hyo, created a method for the boys whenever they got into an argument. That's dope. 
Where he said, I was writing he said that even if there's a conflict between the two members, he feels that as if it should be resolved amongst the seven. Yeah, man, that's that's how you learn accountability and team. You know, you know that in football, when somebody messes up, the whole team got to run. Exactly. I'll never forget um, two of our starting members of the defense got into a physical brawl. Like, it was, like, very, very bad in the locker room. And the coach was so astounded. Like, he didn't know what to do that he took us all in there and was like, this isn't going to be addressed between me and them two. Like, we are all going to address them. So we came up with the idea that for an entire practice, which is probably about three hours long, we made them hold hands and walk the stadium stairs the entire time. So someone that you just physically fought, like blood was shed, lips were busted, noses were busted. Like we were like, no, nah, they got to hold hands and like walk these stadium stairs and then watch us all run for their mistake. Oh, wow. And, and it, 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 it was crazy, bro. Yeah, I would have been pissed. But we weren't like it, it was a different type of thing because like the coach included us in it. Like he was yeah. like, I can punish them. They cannot play. They can run or they can see that this is a team thing. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, man, they're holding hands and walking while we're running. And wow. it resolved the issue. They actually have a YouTube premium series where basically it documented like a tour with them. Mm. And in an episode, uh, two of the members had an argument. And RM is the leader. And so his job is kind of to resolve the conflict. And it showed after the concert, them all sitting in a hotel room and talking it out and kind of the process of how they go through their arguments and through their fights. And it was actually really cool. So wow. if you guys have time, you should probably check that out. Send us that link. YouTube premium. We got to mm -hmm. sign up for that. We got to sign up for YouTube premium. YouTube always trying to make us Thanks do stuff. Right, man. We ain't man, done enough. Dang. Golly, man. We just spent all our lives all right. hours on here. All right. Let's get. We always want something. Thank you for that, Emily. That's yeah, why we have you. That's why you won't hear. 분들이 팀의 친화력을 혹은 시너지를 강하게 만들고 있지 않나 이렇게 생각합니다. Over the years, the boys have come to love each other despite their difference in personalities, to the point where they'd feel incomplete with one member missing. They became each other's strength and support and formed a brotherhood. 뭔가 내 머릿속에는 아, 옆에 멤버들이 있어야 뭔가 자연스러운 그러니까 뭔가 내 핸드폰이나 지갑처럼 없으면 불안한 그런 것들 있잖아. 그죠. 소중하다 못해. 없으면 안될 사람들이긴 하죠. 왜냐면은 넘어져도 저 혼자 일어나는 게 아니라 그냥 같이 일어난 거니까. 좀 생각을 해보면 이런 일곱 명이 어떻게 모였을까라는 생각이 들어요. 이제는 네. 오래 지냈다고 해서 될 문제는 아니에요. 어떻게 보면은 운명인 것 같아요. <웃음> 네. That's right. 오 되게 유치하지 마. That ain't corny. 그냥 운명이었던 거예요 이거. It is fate. At I Cracker Barrel, it. we know the cheese you choose makes Man, a Cracker difference. Barrel? That's why I got ad block on. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to our girl Flex. She she told us to download the Google Chrome ad block, but I mean, somehow Cracker Barrel still got up in there. Yeah. Hold on, hold Those on. who didn't follow their back a little bit. Kind of 운명이었던 거예요 이거. Their climb to the top may seem sudden to those who didn't follow their journey, but it was far from a walk in the park. BTS's company, Big Hit Entertainment, started off small and faced numerous hardships, even coming close to bankruptcy. Dang. Since Big Hit wasn't a large company at that time, they lacked the resources for promoting BTS. Even getting the chance to debut was a fluke. Their debut performance opportunity came about because a music show needed a filler for someone else's spot. Even after they debuted, their performances would often get cut, and if they did make it on air, their screen time was very short since Big Hit didn't have the power or influence bigger companies had over broadcasts. Since hey. they were often not invited to a lot of big variety shows, the company found their own way to communicate with their audience through platforms such as YouTube. By vlogging their journey, they allowed us to discover Don't their personalities. <laughs> they also created so their bad. own variety shows and often live streamed with fans. 
They honed their crafts for hours on end, practicing in the dance studio and producing music, returning home at dawn to all sleep in one bedroom. Dang. Two years of hard work and not knowing where they'd end up, they finally won their first music show award. Yet, as they grew in popularity, they were falsely accused of sajeki, which is when a company buys their own artist albums to boost sales for the charts. Hmm. That's because people couldn't believe a group from a small company was selling well, ignoring That's the fact that hate. a small company wouldn't yeah, have man. the resources to pull off such a scam. These were just a few of their hardships and struggles. I created a separate video highlighting their past hardships. I'll link I did that hear in about my the, description the plagiarism. box. Throughout the yeah, thing. Ac accusations. Yeah. <sighs> That's so real, man. Because when we started having a little bit of success in here, people was hitting me up like, what's the secret? Yeah. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Those phone calls were very awkward. Yeah. They'd be like, what's up, bro? What you been up to? And I'm like, um, I mean, you see it. Like, so, yeah, but what are you doing? Like, who did you get in contact with? I'm like, Fredo. <laughs> <laughs> they're like nah bro but like seriously like what what i had somebody ask me what hashtag are you putting <laughs> i'm like what i was like the moderators are getting on me about not even putting any like i've dropped videos in the hashtags man yeah i've dropped videos and then one of you guys have messaged me like yo you didn't even put a description at all like it's blank and i'll be like oh snap yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then there's those other people that are like, do you even really like K-pop? Like, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, I do. <laughs> I, that's why I need a, like a vlog or just like a little webcam in the car to where you can see every time I get in the whip, it's like what I put on. Uh, yeah. I have been screenshotting the songs that I'm listening to throughout the day on my Instagram story. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, just to show you it's real, like. I played that only human on the way in, and then I played that uh, my life is shining like a VVS from this um, the show that show yeah. um, show me the money. Yeah, I was listening to what's his name Mang. Ooh. Mingi? No, no, no. Um, Usagi Yako gave us him yesterday. Oh my goodness! Have we posted it, that yet? Nope. We're gonna post that today. Oh, I just know added it to this. my library, so I'll tell you. It was no, it's not in order. Dang it! Yeah, that's you've been quote texting us Coco Bop for the past week. So mm -hmm. I was on a Coco Bop kick. <laughs> be. Oh, what are you listening to right now? Yeah, right now I've been listening to a lot of Stray Kids. Okay, what stray what songs kids. in particular? A lot of Stray Kids. Um, if I had to choose a favorite right now, Easy. Ooh. Easy. I just, I've been in a choreo easy. kick, so I've Ooh. been doing that. Oh, have you actually been doing the choreo? Yeah, I know the choreo. Oh, snap. Okay. <laughs> Changmo, I always. That's what I was bumping this morning. Check out the Changmo, I always. We're going to drop that. We're going to be dumping in the Patreon today. Yeah. Literally. You're so, going to be bombarded with yeah. notifications. Yeah. Let's continue. Yes. I'll link that in my description box. Throughout the years, BTS were able to reach impressive milestones while continuing to sing in Korean. They shattered cultural language barriers with music and attracted an international audience. They grew organically by staying true to themselves while building a genuine connection with their fans from around the world. During an era where streaming numbers have gone up and traditional album sales have gone down, BTS has become an industry anomaly. Mm. Their latest album, Map of the Soul 7, released February 21, 2020, is the best-selling physical album of the year, and they sold over 500,000 copies in just the United States alone. Wow. The biggest That's kicker? more than a lot well, of American BTS artists. BTS did this without a single bundle. And what does bundle mean? Artists would bundle merchandise or concert tickets with the album's sales. For example, a copy of an artist's album, digital or physical, would be included in every t-shirt sale or ticket sold for their concert. These sales would count towards charting numbers and become an industry-wide tactic in the U.S. to help boost sales figures and in effect climb up the billboard charts. 
In a 2019 New York Times article, they said about half the 39 titles that topped the charts last year were sold as part of ticket or merchandise bundles. Oh, Without wow. the help of bundles and driven by the power of armies alone, BTS were able to beat a lot of historic records, such as Michael Jackson's 36-year record and the Beatles' 22-year record. Celine Dion, too? While these She's musical legend, acts legend. are famous around the world, Sugar has said right it's a great honor to be called the Beatles of the 21st century. At the same time, it's a bit pressuring to be called that. We are BTS. We want to be the BTS of the 21st century. The, the members themselves have always been involved in their music and engaged with their fans, even before they officially debuted. From their debut album, Too Cool for School, in 2013 to their most recent Map of the Soul 7, all seven members have contributed as either writers and or producers on every album. Okay, All yeah. of BTS are associate members of the Korea Music Copyright Association. And as of August 2020, J-Hope, Suga, and RM were all promoted to full members of the association. They even create music that's released for free on SoundCloud as gifts to their fans. Much of their work touches on subjects like mental it's health, youth and female empowerment, child abuse, cyberbullying, self-love and development, and socioeconomic injustices. Much of their work is also inspired by past writers and thinkers. Their latest series, Map of the Soul, incorporates psychological concepts by Swiss psychiatrist Carl Jung. BTS is not afraid to use their platform to amplify underrepresented voices. I think that's interesting to use literature into your art and craft. Because that's how we started higher faculty. Yes. It came from a personal development coach, Bob Proctor. Bobby P. Shout you out. You ever Bobby heard P. of Bob, Bob Proctor? Yeah. Wow, that's surprising. He talks about personal really? development and um, he talks about the higher side of yourself and you have six higher faculties. And that really just stuck with me. And that's how came up with the name. That's where I get a lot of free game too, is um, reading books. Yeah. I cannot wait until we start putting my music out and I can like do some behind the scenes because the song Born Rich is a representation of how this, how this company essentially got started, you know, not like physically, but like the concept of what Bob Proctor's teaching is the meaning of that entire song. And I was literally reading that Born Rich book and then just writing lyrics like, oh, here, oh, here. So thanks, Bob. Yeah. This and issues, taking numerous risks with their career while receiving backlash from people in power. Who, who was BTS him? are also as charitable as they are talented. Throughout the years, members have been. I want to know who was hating. They said people of power. Probably the media. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's very much like uh, the media was not on their side when they first debuted. Hmm. And so the, they were from a very small company. Big Hit was not what it was when they first started. And they definitely had to grow this company by themselves. Yeah. And so that journey has been has been a long one, to say the least. Okay, okay. And donating individually and as a group. BTS rarely publicize donations, so fans often find out about them if media organizations uncover the details. One of BTS's few public announcements was in November 2017 for their Love Myself campaign. They partnered with UNICEF to create a campaign aimed at protecting children and teenagers from around the world, with the hope of making the world a better place through music. BTS and their company, Big Hit Entertainment, pledged 500 million Korean won and donated 3% of the income from the sales of physical albums of the Love Yourself series 
along with six other fundraising initiatives, okay, including the Love Myself merchandise, where 100% of its proceeds were pledged to the cause. Dang. The Love Yourself series, which contained three albums total, sold over 7 million copies worldwide. On September 24, 2018, BTS was invited to deliver a speech about the Love Myself campaign at the United Nations General Assembly. Mm. On January 15, 2020, Formula E announced their partnership with BTS to help combat climate change. On June 3, 2020, BTS tweeted their support for Black Lives Matter. A few days later, Variety reported that BTS and Big Hit Entertainment had donated $1 million to support the Black Lives Matter movement. Okay, when armies got wind of the okay. news, they matched their $1 million donation in one day. What? Now, wow. these are just wow. a couple of their acts of charity. Come on. With their socially conscious music, BTS created a new fandom culture that brings together fans from different national and racial identities. This led to the emergence of bilingual army volunteers who translated BTS Korean lyrics and videos in their language almost real time, making the content immediately Whoa. available to non Korean speakers. Yo, they grind it. We may all yeah. speak different languages, but their music and their message connected people from around the world with different ethnicities, Dang. background, gender, and age. BTS has also expressed their love and respect for ARMY countless of times, such as always mentioning them first during speeches, responding <laughs> to fans on their social media app Weverse, showing their appreciation for ARMY projects, halting rehearsals for the Muslim prayers in Saudi Arabia, the youngest member Jungkook even got the fandom name tattooed on his hand. Together Dang. with ARMY, they grew as individuals and as artists. That is crazy. 참 다행히도 내가 원래 하고 싶었던 이 메시지 하고 싶었던 음악들을 하고 있어서 참 다행이라고 생각을 해요. 그러기 때문에 되게 그렇게 살고 있는 것 같아요. 긍정적인 에너지를 주죠. 일단 이 일을 좋아하는 거, 이 일을 사랑하고 너무 좋아하는 게 저에게 큰 영향을 주는 것 같아요. 왜냐하면 이 일을 하기 싫고 실증이라고 하면은 무대 위에서도 나타나기 때문에 That's true. 이 일을 굉장히 사랑하기 때문에. Yes, very true. Mm -hmm. Okay, Their love for ARMY has also helped them decide on re-signing another seven-year contract with Big Hit Entertainment. They mentioned doing it for their fans and not for money. Mm. So while people often discredit BTS's talent, likening their popularity to superficial aspects that come with the image of a boy band, it is their development of personalities and sincerity towards their art and their fans that made their fandom the size and reach that it has become. I hope people will come to realize that BTS is more than just their singing and their dancing skills. They're not just performers, but 
artists who have healed and inspired millions of people around the world. For a deeper dive into BTS, please refer to these websites, apps, and ARMY accounts to stay updated. We're also working on more video projects and a website, so stay tuned. Yo, have you seen their website? Nah, I'm about to cry. <laughs> Go ahead and let it out, bro. It's all right, man. I'm not going to hold you, though. He's going to cry off camera. He's here. <laughs> that no, was I'm not going to cry. On a serious note, I can, I mean, I can say that I knew it was something, you know, underneath the music. Like, I could feel it this whole time. And I felt it in performances. I felt it in lives. I felt it through lyrics. I just felt it in their overall presence. But I didn't know it was going to be that. You know what I'm saying? And now I can never, like, go back and, and not know. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so no matter how how swagged out they are and how hard they're dancing and singing and performing, like, in my subconscious is now downloaded, like, the true human beings that these seven individuals are. Yeah. For sure. I feel like they got us. Like, of course, we're not superstars but i feel like our story is kind of similar just kind of being underdogs like no backing just mm -hmm. everything is from the ground up organic you know we're just figuring it out right. and i just made that small comparison because that really resonated with me like they and they didn't have the budget but they figured it out mm -hmm. you know they they're not on tv mm -hmm. but they're on youtube and mm -hmm. they're recording behind the scenes and they're doing their own editing and everything isn't perfect but it's working because it's organic and i think that's why the fans are so passionate because they literally get to watch them from day one until superstardom yeah the really unique thing with them too is korea has these variety shows they i guess you could kind of compare them to like american talk shows yeah mm -hmm. uh bts don't appear on them so they have their own series it's like their own variety show so they pretty much like promote themselves mm -hmm. they don't need to be promoted anymore wow. wow yeah i think that's the way to go i mean i'm sure they could could have grown bigger and faster through the popular shows and TV, but the bond becomes more strong when you do it yourself. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah, and they've been they've been together since 2011, even though they debuted in 2013, that whole training period before then is intense. And so having those same people around you during that training period and after debut, and they've been there pretty much 10 years together. So when they talk about, like, it feels incomplete when they're, when I don't have them next to me, mm -hmm. like they all have their separate houses. Now you saw the first storm they had, but they still all have a house together. Wow. They still hang out at the dorms together. Yeah. So, I mean, no, I get it. That That's, was that, that was. Oh, go ahead, bro. I was gonna say it's good to hear that they have a house now because I'm like, y'all been getting too much bread out here, <laughs> not to have oh, to be yeah. in a bunk bed, right? Yeah, to be in a one room, yeah, sleeping with each other, right? Right. I was gonna say that that was the hardest part of no longer being an athlete for me. I love the game. Um, oddly enough, my whole reason for playing, I remember it at a young age is because I'll never forget it was I think it was my uncle and my mom took me to football practice the very first day and they were like this is where you can hit someone and you're not going to get in trouble and I was just fueled off of that like bet but long story short it wasn't about not ever putting on the pads again or not ever playing or winning or losing it was who I lost like I'm not in a situation anymore to where I could ever be around 90 of the same type of like-minded people who I call brothers again. And it's like, I only really stay in contact with maybe four or five of them now, but I still have that mutual respect to where like, I'll see someone on Instagram that was just on the team. They just went through the grind with me 
They went through the two a days. They went through being poor in college. I'm talking like we were poor, dog. Like fighting over macaroni and cheese, poor. <laughs> yeah. And like that bond that is built can never be replaced. And I felt that piece missing in me since then. So I can only relate to them when they're like, I feel like I left my phone at home if JK ain't here. You know, I yeah. feel like I ain't got my wallet when RM ain't around. And I felt that mm-hmm. way since. And yeah. I, like I'm married now, it's a different team, a different feeling. But like I just keep waking up every day, and nothing has really replaced that. And then what we're doing here together, um, you know, me and you specifically, but you know, people in the Discord, and then just you know, the thirty five thousand plus people who are watching is the closest that I've been to that. Like I can't let them down. Like these are my teammates. Yeah. If y'all are willing to sit and watch a thirty minute video of us talking, I'm willing to sit and make a thirty minute video. <laughs> like. It's teamwork. Yeah. I feel the exact same way. Uh, I played college basketball, and even to this day, I'm in a group chat with seven or eight guys that I played basketball with. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm talking living in the same houses, the same people for four years straight. Mm-hmm. And they become your brothers. And even when they're all the way across the world playing pro ball, you know, one of them was in Europe, one was in Asia. One was in South America, and I'm here in Middletown, Ohio. We're still connected with each other and checking on each other. So, yeah, I understand the camaraderie. And like you said, man, like now is probably the closest I've ever been to the same experience. Mm -hmm. And I will be lying saying that anything else is going to compare because I've already tried everything else, and I've lied to myself. Like, yeah. oh, this corporate job, and I have nothing against corporate jobs. I think they're amazing. My wife works a corporate job. Like, if that's what you're going to do and that's what you're called to do, cool. But, like, I just felt like that wasn't for me because I never truly felt that team aspect. Like, yeah. when you are when you go through certain things and, like, if, if poverty is involved and, like, there's real grind, like, these guys literally sleeping in the same dorm and all that, like, yeah, I just didn't get that same feel from working anywhere or being on any other team. You get yeah, what I'm saying? For sure. And but, ultimately, you're just working with people who have a small goal to get paid and go home so they can have fun on the weekend. I'm know? an all-in type of guy, bro. Yeah. I'm all or nothing. And, and when you're on the same mission as somebody, that – makes the bond stronger because you believe in in the same thing and what's crazy is it it's literally the same type of scenario it's just it's just different now because i i legitimately have people making fun of me for for doing this like whether they know it or not like that's a form of bullying but like i'm a grown man now but they're like bro you watching that weird korean music Mm -hmm. and i'm like keep that same energy Mm -hmm. when you going to work and you doing this and doing that and you're not living your life to your full potential because i'm willing to go through the grind of whatever it looks like now because some of these days aren't easy but it's i know it's worth it and ultimately it's to build a like-minded group of people based around education and entertainment the reason why we started this company and it didn't really hit me until we started doing these reactions with you know like-minded people on screen and I think it was Flex was the first person that got me. And she was just like, I was going through it. And, mm-hmm. like, your videos were something positive in my life. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. Whoa. I'm always shocked to hear that because, you know, we're just having fun. Mm-hmm. And it's amazing that people can draw positivity and energy from, you know, us having fun. It's contagious. Yeah. So Somebody's got to take the risk, too. And me and him are, like, to break, you know, generational curses that have been, you know, over our families for years and years. Like, I told someone the other day, I was like, my parents did the best they could, but when they pass away, they're not going to pass nothing down to me. I'm breaking that. Yeah. I'm passing properties down. I'm passing money. I'm passing purpose down. And I want my grandkids to be like, yeah, man, Grandpa LC was – so weird like he was getting on screen with people and he was just (laughs) roped into this music and he just wouldn't stop but it's gonna be worth it so i just i say that in thanking everyone who's taken the time to share this experience with us whether you're just watching whether you've jumped in the vip to you know give us a video like this to kind of stretch our thinking um 
I just I thank your support. I don't care if you've just liked one video, watch one video. If you're that one person that I'm still looking for that's putting that thumbs down during the premieres, I just want to have a conversation <laughs> with you. I just want to talk. What's your take, M? M you just been oh, listening. You ain't got nothing for us. It's all good if you don't. What'd you say? I said we just want I just want your your take on some of the stuff that we talked about because you've just been listening like you're like an excellent I'm I'm very much a person that likes to take in information. So mm -hmm. Okay. That's that's this whole channel, right? right. Yeah. Is right. about sure. learning and growth and education and mm -hmm. finding music that we all love together. Yeah. So what is we're all here to grow as am i what is what is one of the things that this channel or this experience has done for you that has helped you as a person because for those who don't know me and fredo are very fun guys we're not the most organized but without people like emily and the other moderators in the group this would not be possible like even the little things of me being like wait can y'all send me that link again for the fifth time <laughs> and they always come through I call them on my drive home and it's late just to not fall asleep and it's 3.30 in the morning. I'm like, hey, hop in the voice chat and somebody's always there. So that's what you guys have done to me. Have we done anything to add value to you? Oh, you've done a ton of stuff for us. I mean, you gave us our community. You gave us the mod squad. So we have people to reach out to now when we need help or we need to call someone on our drive home or we had a bad day and just need to talk to someone. I was ranting to Meg and Gina about work yesterday. So, I mean, yeah. we've, we've been taking that experience from you guys too, and we appreciate it. We want you guys to know that. Thank you. And we, we do our jobs for you guys. So <laughs> appreciate it, man. I ain't going to cry on film, but something is in my eye. Uh, I'll make you cry one day. Yeah, just not for that. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's all I need to hear to keep going. Yeah, this was an amazing guide. I look forward to learning more about BTS. I'm not going to repeat anything that I saw in this guide on my next <laughs> BTS reaction because <laughs> last time I started repeating stuff, somebody was like, "How are you just blatantly saying wrong stuff on camera?" <laughs> I'm tired of this. And it was me. It was mainly me too, bro. Because I was just like so confident in what i thought was right <laughs> and until then like i still to this day like question everything i say not even bts based it could be at straight kids like sometimes i'll hesitate and just not say nothing like Ugh. yeah but, man it's all good it's all love and we're gonna get to the music and we're gonna get to the right information regardless mm -hmm. that was just a wake-up call of like we got tough skin we can take people bashing us like you're not gonna stop us and that just goes out for anybody who's toxic i'll yeah. mess these names up 20 more times and if you can't understand that i'm a person i'm just a human that makes yeah. mistakes then 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 just call me i'll give you my phone number call me i'll let you get all those words off and then yeah. i'll just be like i love you <laughs> what <laughs> yeah send me the address i'll still clog your bathroom but i love you <laughs> yeah this was amazing well, and well, I'm, I'm glad that you um gave us the idea to just hop on this with us i mean it, it definitely gave yeah, us a different anytime, perspective anytime. okay well we're gonna call you at three in the morning today then since you said anytime you already ruined my sleep schedule it's that, it's out the window that, that was tezzy we're trying to get right <laughs> yeah tezzy ruined it for everybody i'm like what's what's funny about that is i said tezzy looked at me he was like y'all want me to go for like 20 minutes 45 minutes i'm like yeah 45 is good Two and a half hours later. <laughs> right. Woo. I was about to say over two hours. Man. Woo. Sitting there updating updating the list at two in the morning. Woo. A situation that's it wasn't funny at the time, but it's funny now. It's like when we were setting up, we were just sitting here for about forty five minutes and Tessie was on his computer. I'm thinking he's like downloading music or something, but I'm like, Are you ready, bro? He's like, Yeah, I'm waiting on you. I was like, I was waiting on you. Bro, yes. It's eleven PM. <laughs> Yeah, we're trying we were to go home, so bro. Because you were like, we're about to drop something. We were like, okay. Right, yeah. and then everybody's just what are waiting. You <laughs> and I'm like, Tezzy, are you ready? He's like, yeah, I've been waiting on you. I'm like, he didn't say nothing. I was like, bro, we could have been <laughs> done. I was like, bro, we could have been home. Yeah. We, so we, we didn't even start until almost That was midnight. a long day without him coming here. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. 
but it's all good, man. We had a great time, and we're still alive, going strong. So right, can't complain. Can't complain. Uh, thank you all for our Patreon uh, memberships and joinees and Discord and all that, man. We love mm-hmm. you guys. Uh, this was an amazing guide. Uh, I look forward to hearing more from BTS. I'm falling in love with BTS. Okay. I'm like it. It was the J-Hope solos. Yes. And the versatility that I'm seeing from them. Yeah. If BTS they have could have all their mixtapes on SoundCloud for free. Oh, so. yeah. oh I'm a mixtape king. That's too. your place to check them out. If I was yeah. allowed to, I would just turn it on right now and just it start. Just wang it out. Listening. But I want to keep them authentic and genuine. I want to yeah. keep the requests coming. So. But if that. BTS were to ever see this, I would say that we absolutely love you. It's been a it's been a journey. We're we're proud of you, and I would give a special shout out to my dog J Hope because you broke you broke the real ice. Yeah, like I was like, oh 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 my gosh, yeah. Shout out my man J Hope. Yeah, thank you very much, M. Yes, we will see you in the chat. I'll probably ask you for something in the next ten minutes or so. So. We'll see ya. We'll see ya. Peace.